Before we're going to install this, this piece, uh, just a note, remove the clip that is here. As you can see, there's a clip that's here. Please remove it and uh, because we're going to be able to use it later on. Now that you installed both extensions for the lights, don't forget to connect your your lights right here you pass the wire from the top as so you pass it from the top and you can remove those those uh, those connectors you can remove them uh, those are clips you just remove them it's it's that's fine you it's long enough you don't need any extensions or anything else just plug it in and uh, now before we're going to do the hole that is here we have to use the rubber piece which is this one and that you're going to need a quarter inch drill this one that's a quarter inch if it's exactly that's the same size so don't tight the screws that are here those screws don't tight them completely you see there's one over here and the other one is over here don't tie it don't tie it completely make leave it like with a loose so it's gonna be you're gonna be able to move it like as so so you can move it downwards don't worry I've already drilled so you just have to move it downwards so you can you can drill once you drilled push that in as so and put it back on you'll take the screw with the with the washer I think we're gonna use the long one with the washer and you will place it in the correct place with the little ratchet you screw that in And more you squeeze, more it tightens. It tightens to its place. So don't worry about it. You can tighten it. It just squeezes more. And we're going to go ahead and do it. For your license plate, going to remove the two clips from your original from your original piece so we're going to remo remove the clips I'm going to go ahead and do it now that I've removed those clips I'm going to use the original screws with the license plate to screw it in and screw the license plate into here as you can see we cannot put the clips here or here so we're going to use this as a nut. So as placing this like that, the license plate, as so, this becomes a nut in the back. So I'm going to, sh with a quarter inch drill, you just make the hole a little bit bigger. So you can see your original wire can pass through, can pass through here. As you can see, I used the two clips as a nut and the original bolts to put on the license plate. So, and the wire is going to go through here. So we're going to go ahead and, and install the extension. Now, the way to install the extension is very simple. You start with the same hole that is here. So, now, I'm going to push it down, open a little bit here, try to... Try to move it left and right. 
and we are aligned. Since you already aligned the holes and everything, uh, you know the bolts, which are these bolts. Uh, you can use them whether with a washer, without the washer, that's fine. And um, you can go from underneath and you can see you have you have three holes over here, one here, one over here, and one at the end. And they, you can put your fingers inside to be able to reach the bolts. So it's quite simple to do since you already aligned all your bolts prior to the black pieces. I forgot to mention uh, when you put your your uh, your co your colored piece. Loosen up the loosen up, loosen up the screws over here, those ones, okay, on the right side, which is the passenger side. Loosen them up. You can align with the the lights to so they're gonna fit perfectly. The cut is perfect. It's just the alignment of the lights that is right here so you can kind of like either drill a bigger hole or just like move it forward or backwards it all depends on how how you want it, how it is adjusted on your slingshot so once you're going to put it you you adjust it to it we already did that we already did that so you can see that the alignment on on the slingshot on ours it is aligned correctly you can see both sides are aligned because we pull this out a little bit. So if you see the lines, the line they follow perfectly on this side. So since we pull this out a bit more and we aligned this the screw that is inside, we aligned it. So we pulled it a bit. We screwed a little bit more towards forward, so we could have pulled it out a little bit. So you can see it aligns. It aligns perfectly on over here. So the line follows. And so, and you can see it follows over here, so and so far. The reason why we, like I said, to loosen up the bolts before, bef once you install, just to give you an example, you see over here, we loosen it, so I can actually move it back and forth, side to side, there's enough space. Over here, we drill just a little bit more, so I can actually, I can actually move it and move it back and forth so it exactly sits the screws are still there uh, the screws are still there they just like not tighten up so I can still move it and fix it into position where I want it to be perfectly so at this point I am actually using the holes for the extension kit I'm gonna bolt all the all the three bolts which means three bolts on each side. I'm going to bolt that on and then I'm going to tighten the lights to the perfect position so everything will be aligned perfectly. We installed all the three screws on each side so that makes six screws and you can see you can lift it a little bit and you put the rubber piece. You can put it prior to put the screws. You can do it the same way. You see it sits very well. It's going to sit. That's what's going to close this uh, rubber piece. It's going to squeeze in and it's going to place itself. Okay. For the other tail piece, we have to put three of these, three of the rubber pieces. So one goes here and the other two on the other side. Now that we have placed the under, the undertail, which is right here, we uh, we positioned. See, this screw is not tightened, tightened, uh, tightened enough yet, uh, tightened all the way yet because we left it like that just to show you. Um, you gotta tight, you gotta try to start with the with those screws right here, okay? They don't lean perfectly over here because this is where the luggage is going to go in through and all this piece which is right here is going to be covered with the luggage here or and now you got 
the undertail you gotta put those screws first which are afterwards those ones right here sorry if the camera is moving too much because I'm holding it myself now and then you have to screw the screw that is holding the light right here now one and at the end you do the three screws that you have in the back this is your last step so you start with first screw second which is contained but don't forget that it goes over on the top not under on top so second screws there's four of them third is the light fourth the three screws and that's the results of your complete body kit I mean stage one and stage two You can see everything is lined up, the lights, everything lines up correctly, all the lines, everything lines up. If you're looking at the, same, at the other side, same thing. It's all the adjustments that you got to do over here, over here, over here, everything lines up correctly. Thank you for watching.